Hey there, it's Jane from the blog ChalkingUpSuccess.com and today I'm making a sparkling wood triangle Christmas tree. So for the top two sides of the triangle, I've got two pieces of wood roughly a metre long, um, so 39 inches. I used a mitre saw to cut a 22 and a half degree angle here on this side and a 45 degree angle here. And this is how they're going to come together. And then the top of the triangle is going to be flat. And now I'm just going to sand the pieces and I'm going to sand the bottom piece as well even though I haven't cut that yet. I just want to get all the raw edges off. It doesn't have to be completely smooth because it's, it's supposed to look really rustic. And now we're just pre-drilling the holes for some screws. And pre-drilling will stop the wood splitting when we put the screws in. I'm going to put two screws in to make it really solid. And then we put the screws in and um, I'm being really lazy. I couldn't, I didn't have a screwdriver. <laughs> so I'm just going to use an Allen key to screw these in quickly. But of course you should use a screwdriver for that. And now we're going to cut the bottom of the triangle and the bottom edges of the upper two sides of the triangle have been cut at 22.5 degree angle as well and that makes sure that it sits really nicely on top of the base piece of wood. And then we take it over to the mitre saw again and just cut it straight down. That wasn't quite straight so we do it again. now we've got the bottom piece of our triangle. So again we're going to pre-drill some holes to attach the bottom part of the triangle to the top two pieces of the frame. And that little dot is actually a mark in the wood and not a hole. <laughs> and we we'll put two screws in each side again to finish that off. And now I'm just marking where I'm going to glue the, the bottom of the triangle to the base. And the stand's just a piece of wood uh, around 11 by 6 inches, 28 by 15 centimetres. And the instructions on my wood glue said that it would be dry in about five minutes, but I left mine for a few hours just to be sure. And to create pressure, I press it down for a minute with a few minutes with my hands, and then I covered the stand with it, some old cloths and I set a brick on top of the pieces whilst they dried. I've listed out all the measurements and the supplies needed for this DIY on the blog. So if you want to create this project, then I really recommend you go over there first and uh, get all the details. And now it's time to put the wood stain on, or you can um, paint it instead if you prefer. I think this is called oak, or antique oak, or something like that. That's how it looks when it's finished. And now it's time to cut some chicken wire. My chicken wire wasn't wide enough to cover the whole of the frame so I ended up having to patch two pieces on the bottom parts of the triangle and I just connected them with some more silver wire and you can't really notice it at all. And I stretched it over the frame and I'm using my staple gun to staple the chicken wire to the back of the frame. And then once I've stapled the, the chicken wire to the whole of the frame then I'll just trim all the excess chicken wire off. And to finish off I added some fountain string lights and a star garland and um, take a look at the blog post for some tips on how I attach those. And that's it, the wooden triangle Christmas tree is finished and this is how it looked before I added the lights and the star garland. I absolutely love how it turned out. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this project, it really helps me a lot and um, I'll see you next time.